garage. We're gonna go ahead and take the 2002 Camaro out for a quick ride. I wanna put some gas in it. I finally ran the tank down far enough to where there's almost no fuel in it. Um, we are still not tuned yet, but I wanna make sure I have some fresh 93 octane in it when I go to get the tune, which will be coming up here shortly. So let's go ahead and get in the car and see how she drives.
car actually shifts. It's a good feeling. Car drives pretty straight. Suspension's okay. Got tie rods in the front need to be done. Um, outer tie rods. But, I mean, the boots on them are just kind of messed up. Not really a huge deal right now, so I'm just going to kind of roll with it. Obviously, I'm eventually going to try and fix every issue that's on this car. You know, main main issues up front. I do have new tires coming, uh, so this later this week I'll have some new tires for it. I'll be able to put those on. I am going to put them on myself. Uh, there is a shop over here on the uh, on the base that allows us to work on our own cars, and they have you know lifts and some other machines. They have a tire changing machine, so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll do that myself. Save a little bit of money. Uh, I didn't get the, you know, for now I just got some just typical cheap all season tires. Uh, just cause like I said, I, I you know, need to break in the engine, wanna drive it around a little bit, make sure, you know, work out any kinks that kind of are wrong with it before we really start trying to go crazy with it. You really don't wanna finish a build and then just hop right into, you know, drag racing or beating on it. Obviously, unless you're, you know, a professional, car builder or someone that has a lot of experience with it. Uh, me in particular, you know, building it on the side of my house and stuff, you know, I want to kind of drive it around and make sure, um, you know, the thing don't catch on fire on me or something before I actually take it down to a racetrack and start really beating on it. And so far she's driving pretty good. She drives nice and straight. Brakes are good. Like I said, when I get to kind of a slow roll, you know, the, the lack of vacuum compared to stock kind of takes over and I, sometimes if I'm coming to a stop, I have to bump it into neutral so it kind of builds that vacuum back up and allows me to stop. Man, it is hot. I got the windows closed so you guys can actually hear me. Hopefully there's not too much road noise, but uh, man, it is hot in this car. The AC, it doesn't work that great. I think it just needs to be charged. I'll probably pick up a can of uh, R134 from the, um, you know, Advance Auto or whatever. Throw that in there so I get some AC going. Don't worry, there's more coming with her. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that quick ride. So I went ahead and fixed the window motor. I was gonna do a video, but then as I was kind of doing it, I just decided like, this is kind of boring. And I mean, there's nothing really interesting about doing a window motor. It's just take a couple screws out. My daughter's yelling at me through the window. What I'm probably gonna end up doing, I know it's a 35th anniversary edition and everyone wants me to keep the stripes, but I'm probably gonna leave it just red. I'll get some new Ram Air uh, high output stickers. I'm gonna keep the black right in front of the Ram Air section of the hood. But honestly, I kinda like it just red, black top, little black out here on the hood. I really haven't shown the interior of this car much, and why not while well, it's just about to start raining? Perfect timing. Like, this is really the only sore spot right here, and aside from that, I mean, the dash is good. All the rest of the interior is in actually really good shape. These gauges don't work, I cut them and unhooked them, and I'm gonna go inside because it's pouring. So like I said guys, have tires coming, they'll be here in the next couple days, so those will be on, then I can actually start driving this car more and more. The tune won't come for another couple weeks, um, but I have an appointment scheduled, we're gonna go ahead and get the tune done on it, they're just a little busy, plus, uh, you know, like a lot of big events are coming up, summer's kinda getting close to ending, so a lot of, uh, a lot of these shops around town are, um, you know busy doing stuff like that so it's gonna take a little bit to actually get in and get the tune done aside from that though I am gonna go ahead and chase down a couple of these small little issues one the transmission jumping when I put it in gear it needs shocks no huge deal that's a quick and easy fix three I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna chase down that transmission problem and see three I'm gonna go ahead and probably end up changing that transmission mount probably be to uh, like a polyurethane mount something a little harder because I honestly think that's the reason why that, that transmission or why the car, the drivetrain is kind of clunking under a heavy load like that. As you saw, the 2017 Camaro, Whipple supercharged, still here. I use it every day. It's you know been kind of my daily. I'm trying to make this my daily for a little bit. 
so I can start getting going on that one. For those who are new here, that car made 560 wheel horsepower. I'll go ahead and link that video here somewhere. On, you know, basically the entire stock engine, including stock airbox, stock drivetrain, only Whipple supercharger, plus the Whipple can tune. So we have a lot of room to grow with that. I know a lot of people have come in like, oh man, you spent all that money and that's all you got? This is where we're starting, okay? We're gonna build off that and make, my goal is over 700 with this car, but a lot of things need to be done. Pistons, fuel system, heads and cam, you know, and then I can actually start pushing the boost level up and getting that thing up into, you know, we're close to the 700 horsepower range, which I think it's more than capable of. Anyway guys, if you like the video, be sure to give a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you don't follow me on Instagram, at Garage. As always, thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.